Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm drawing my OC Soren and his soul because I've never drawn a soul on this channel and it's about time. Uh, now before we start I just want to say yes I am aware that the soul looks a little bit goofy and to that I say this is a lesson to you in why using construction shapes and lines are important. Do not freeball things like I did. Anyway, with that out of the way, don't forget to like and subscribe and please enjoy the video. Okay, so realistically, this isn't much of a redesign per se. It's more of a drawing his most recent design with a few color changes. But I haven't drawn him on this channel in a while, so let's just talk about the changes I've made. So, to start, his colors are more muted and he has four eyes instead of eight now. You may be thinking that I got rid of his horns, but I actually just forgot them because I'm so smart and I never forget anything. Name one time when I have forgotten anything. Please don't watch any of my uh, videos um, before this and then you won't be able to name any. <laughs> so his clothes, I mainly made them darker and I got rid of those god awful overalls. I'm sorry, overalls are fine, right? Overalls, we love overalls in this house. But Sorens were a crime against humanity. What was he thinking? You know, I definitely wasn't the one that put him in them in the first place. It was him. It was him, I say. Anyway, I replaced it with a sweater vest and a corset. Um, I had to keep him looking like he drinks hot chocolate by the fire daily while making him less eat drywall every Sunday, if that makes sense. Also, wearing white or cream is not a good idea when you're constantly fighting and or traveling. I drew his camera in as well. I thought it was an important thing to throw in there because for those of you who haven't watched my first video, go watch it. Jeez. <sighs> Imagine. He can only see the real world through pictures and videos. He sees the world through like a spirit realm basically, so the spider version of him on the left is the version of himself he sees, except it's... A version that actually had construction lines over it that wasn't just free-handed um listen there comes a time when you have to ask yourself why your brain thinks the way it does and this was mine because for some reason whenever i draw people i always draw on the guidelines you know your shapes your shapes before the actual body that's fine but when i was drawing this guy for some reason i just free-handed it I think it's because I have the reference on the side or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Anyway, it's fine. Whatever. Let's move on. I did, however, keep his thigh highs. I'm not willing to part with them yet, guys, okay? Also, because everybody else has long pants, so this makes him special. I also kept the browns in his color palette because I can. Stop asking me questions. This isn't an interrogation time. Other than that, I didn't change much about him. He's just a guy, you know? I also think, uh, and this could change by the way, so don't get mad if it does, I'm a very indecisive person, okay? But I think I might do a video of me drawing my main four souls, because they're kind of important, but I don't know. I live my life by the day, not by the week. No planning ahead goes into these videos. The day I sit down and start them is the day the plan begins. I'm a follow the wind kind of guy. Also, this is going to be majorly off topic, but I feel like you need to know, so now you need to know. But last night, I was making chicken and rice. That actually sounds very plain. Okay, it was soy glazed chicken and veg with rice. And I wanted to do fried rice as well, like egg fried rice, but my dad ate all the old rice, so I couldn't. Anyway, that doesn't matter, but I was making it, as you do, and then the gas went. So now I can use the hop because we have a gas hop. So I threw the chicken and veg in the air fryer because I was also cooking for my brother so I couldn't leave it any later. It was kind of like 6 o'clock or later or something like that anyway. But whatever time it was, I needed to get it done. So now the only problem was the rice. And I tried so hard to get that hop to work again. But that gas tank was empty. So... While all this panicking with me trying to get the rice to somehow magically cook was going on, I forgot about the chicken. Which, to clarify, was one of those tiny chicken breasts that look like chicken goujons. 
And when you put chicken in the air fryer and set it for meat, it cooks it for 20 minutes. But they don't need 20 minutes because they're so small. So then the air fryer beeped to say the 20 minutes had passed. And I'd realize I had left the chicken in there. So now I had uncooked rice, cooked veg, which by the way was only onions and carrots because that was literally all we had left in the fridge. And very dry chicken. But we didn't have anything else in the fridge because my parents left us with nothing. They really... <laughs> like they left us with just enough to like make dinner. So I couldn't do it again. So we had dried chicken and veg. Um, but because it was so dry, I was like, oh, I may put more glaze on this, right? Because the glaze had kind of dried out. The one that the bits that were on it, and it also fallen through the grates in the air fryer, so it was sitting at the bottom of the little, like air fryer things that you put into the air fryer, yeah. So to add a little bit more flavor, I put the glaze into the like, bottom of the bowls. But if you've ever cooked with a soy glaze, those things can be strong. They're not always, but this one was. This one was very strong. Um. So I left it there as a bit of a dip. It had a little bit more flavor since the glaze on the chicken, you know, had obviously fallen through the air fryer or was fairly dried out. But I forgot to tell my brother that he's not supposed to just eat the glaze. So he took a spoonful of glaze with his chicken, thinking it was like, you know, regular sauce or like, you know, not as strong a glaze since I poured it on top of everything. But so, you know, he took the spoonful and got sent to the fourth dimension he looked like he had just shoved smelling salts up his nose. So, anyway, that was my cooking disaster. What made it even funnier, though, is that when my parents got home, they told us that there was a spare can of gas in the shed. So that could have all been avoided. Anyway, that was just a little bit, just the tiniest bit off track. But, um, no, let's go briefly on Soren's character, since, you know, he's already in a video of mine. So if you want more information literally the first video i uploaded on this channel is the one that he's in so yeah that little spider in the corner by the way is the vampire spider i was talking about him being based off of before and isn't it so cute i swear jumping spiders are the cutest things in the world but you know anyway onto the lore so as i've said before soren is the son of lady death who i have done a speed paint on as a matter of fact and um, if you want to check her out after this video don't you dare click off this video i swear to god and he is currently assuming her position as the one that crosses souls over to purgatory while his mother is otherwise occupied. Generally, Soren is not the most social. He grew up quite isolated as many kids were scared of him. This combined with the fact that his soul's not the prettiest made him decide that he does not want to know what he looks like, you know, to other people. Um, he knows what his parents look like because he's seen pictures of him, but he refuses to be in any photos, or if he has, he refuses to let them be, like, hung up, and he just will not look at them, right? Because, I mean, if every time you looked in the mirror, you saw a weird, hunched-over spider monster, would you want to know what you look like? Probably not, but... He does very much enjoy taking pictures of other people to see how different they look compared to their souls. Just to clarify, your soul reflects who you are as a person. And someone who can see a soul can tell a lot about a person based on how it looks. For instance, Soren can tell when a person was born and by that degree how old they are and when their birthday is. Uh, so you cannot hide that from him. I'm afraid you are getting a birthday cake on your birthday if you are friends with him. Too bad. Um, he can also see if you are generally a good person or a bad person. Basically, when you die, are you currently heading towards suffering or a nice little cottage on a hill? I don't know. I haven't thought about the afterlife in this world yet. Um, so, <laughs> cottage on a hill it is. So, for instance, if a mostly good person is planning something bad, he obviously can't tell that. Same with a mostly bad person. And the intentions also come into it. And there's so many different variables that can decide what way they're heading that he tries not to judge someone based off of what their soul shows because he's only really able to see exactly what made their soul look like that after they die so for all he knows they could have accidentally done something 
that was considered bad enough and he'll only be able to properly judge them after they die when he gets to see everything but you know live laugh love also and this one is important actually if someone's fate has been decided as in set in stone there's no alternative like they are <laughs> he'll see death marks showing how they're fated to die these are up for interpretation on his part for instance if someone had one on their heart or chest it could mean they're gonna have a heart attack or it could mean they'll be stabbed in the chest or you know if it's just in their general chest area it could be something to do with their lungs or anything like he doesn't know exactly what it's gonna be basically um some death marks make it more obvious than others some get more obvious than others as the person gets closer and closer to death and sometimes on a very rare occasion if a person's time of death has been set in stone so one can see a timer above their head but that one is sort of like the rarest thing to happen like it's probably the probability of it happening is like really low Another thing to note about Soren is that while he thinks the act of, like, a soul moving on is beautiful, he doesn't find death itself beautiful. Like, the dying part is never pretty, you know, it's pretty icky. And mortals really need to figure out how to not die to die because it freaks them out, especially, like, the decomposition process. Don't even ask him about that. Other than that, Soren paints. But obviously, when he paints, he paints what he sees. So a lot of people who look at his paintings find them disturbing, which upsets Soren, as many people think that the world that he sees, a world which, by the way, he thinks is beautiful and quite frankly nicer than the one that most people see, is scary or gross or weird. Anyway, other than that, it might be semi-important to mention that Soren is the main guy in my story. He's not the main character, but he's like the second main character, Elva being the main character, obviously. Also, if Soren thinks someone has a pretty soul, you bet he's telling them, even if it's obviously going to creep them out. Listen, he thinks it's a compliment, and he is trying his best, okay? Anyway, so that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, especially if you got this far. Bye bye Irish Word of the Week, because I realize the day doesn't make sense if I upload weekly, is Shockton, which means week.